I was concerned, you know, in the very beginning, you know, how do you, how does the bonding work with a biological child versus a um, an adopted child, and, and is the connection still the same? And I had a lot of friends that had been through that that, you know, you know, assured me, you know, you're going to bond with this child, and and we just went forward, you know, trusting God to work all that out, and and um, but still had, you know, some, um, you know, some apprehension you know but still move forward and uh, the way it worked for us is the first day that we showed up at the gotcha place and and they brought her in and and when she first saw us she just started crying and cried and cried and I took her and I held her and she just cried and cried and cried and cried and she was so sad to leave her her people and um, the people that had brought her and the nannies that work at her orphanage were the ones that brought her to us and um, and she's been in that orphanage um, since she was since she was born, and she was um, almost well, two and a half when we got her. So, um, so she had you know that's all she had known. And so we were you know I was thinking oh no you know she's not upset, but I knew you know you could you should expect this you know um, to take some time to bond. But you know in my mind I'm thinking oh no how long is this going to take you know and and I was trusting God I knew He would work it all out in the end, but at the same time still had that question in the back of my mind and. And so I'm holding her the whole time, and she would stop crying, and then she would cry again, and then she'd stop crying, and then she'd cry again. Well, um, it seemed like we were there forever before they actually let us leave. <laughs> but finally, we did leave, and I went back to the hotel. Mark and the kids went to eat. The other kids, we have three other kids, and he took them to eat lunch and McDonald's. <clears throat> McDonald's, in of course, China. in China. Yeah, right. And um, so I took Hope up to the hotel room, and we just um, took off the first 16 layers of clothes because I like to put so many layers of clothes on them. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and we just, you know, played together, and I just talked to her, and, and, and we connected, you know, and I got her to smile for the first time. And that had been my, you know, my prayer was, you know, just God, I just can't wait to see her smile because all the pictures we had gotten leading up to that moment from the orphanage that were very helpful with that. Um, she never smiled in the pictures and so um, so she started smiling we got all these pictures and we just had a wonderful time the kids really connected with her that night really well and the, the thing I was not that I was dreading was the next morning we had to go back to the same location where we got her from and see the same people from her orphanage and I was nervous as to how she would react and how she would respond if when we went in because she had such a hard time mm -hmm. the day before was she gonna cry again were we gonna start all over again and what was gonna happen and and, um, and, and to top it off, a lady showed up the second day that was actually a good friend of hers um, uh, when she was in the orphanage that came to her and she explained to us and by translator that she would come to see Hope every day um, and, and hold her and, and, and Hope always wanted her to carry her around. And, and, um, and so this lady approached us while I was holding her and I thought, oh no, what's, you know, what's gonna happen? And she came to us and when she did, um, Hope turned her head which for her was her way of saying, you know, no, I'm not going with you. And so the lady came to her and spoke to her in Chinese and was trying to appeal to her to come with her arms out. And, and three times Hope turned her head away from her. The fourth time this lady came and took her from me and held her. And Hope screamed, I mean, really loud. And then the lady immediately put her back in my arms and she stopped crying immediately. And, and, and I knew it was like, you know, I felt like we were bonded, but that moment was like, okay, I passed the test. I'm the mom now, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was that was um, that was a mom. powerful, powerful moment for me. <laughs> <laughs>